Good afternoon and welcome to another ACY Securities Market Update. My name is Alastair Schultz and I'm here today to be your host to your trading journey. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is the RBA did an, a, an announcement this afternoon. They did in fact cut the interest rates by 25 basis points down to half a percent. The immediate impact from that is this candle right here. We've seen a 49 pip move going up and honestly, I don't see it sustaining for all that long. Now, there's a couple of reasons for that, but predominantly it revolves around what's going on with coronavirus and how we've seen the Australian economy travel over the last 20 years. Now, this is a graph of the, current, of the cash rate since 1990. And you can see from this graph that it has predominantly been on the downtrend all the way through. Now, it is at a record low. This is the lowest cash rate the Australian uh, Fed Reserve Bank of Australia has ever set and we are likely to see it stay around for a while to come yet. Now, why is it so concerning from the perspective of the Australian economy and the Australian people? Now, I see the biggest issue when it comes to looking at this is that down the track, we've just had this catalyst of the coronavirus occurring, the downplay of uh, manufacturing out of China and obviously global turmoil. Now, as we move further through this whole range and work out where things are really going to land, it means that it restricts us at the ability for the RBA to do any further cuts when it might have been more warranted. Now, the other aspect is that it is pumping money into the economy that may have been able to be put to better use. So whilst we look at it from one perspective, the downside risk is really that we're going to run out of bullets in the gun to actually be able to use this effectively down the track. Now, should the coronavirus continue for an extended period of time and we see that we get more fallout from it as it goes on, then the ability to cut that rate just that fraction of a percentage more may have been what we needed, but we're never going to find out now. So just to give you guys a bit more of an understanding of how far and widespread the China supply chain really fits, this chart that you've got behind me representing by all the yellow countries shows exactly where we are seeing supplies going, running into issues. Australia is obviously a rather dark color as is the US and we can see how far their spread really is. Their fingers are literally in almost every country across the globe. So if this coronavirus keeps on continuing in the way that it has, where we get a large spread and we don't find some level of vaccine, the biggest thing that we can make out is that whilst the Fed, the BOJ, the Bank of England are all talking about following suit just what the RBA has done today, it's not going to be the vaccine to fix the problem. So keep an eye on what's going on for the rest of your trading day. My belief is still firmly short for the Australian dollar and I hope you have a good trading day ahead. But if you have any questions on anything that I've covered today or in the past, feel free to send me an email at talk 2 al at acy.com. And of course, like and subscribe the video so you can get more updates like this in the future.